Hey guys, welcome to my final installment of iRacing Road to A class for the iRacing season. Uh, so today we're again going to be in the Skip Barber car at uh, Silverstone. Starting in the third or fourth position, I actually couldn't tell you. Had a pretty good lap in qualifying. Um, so got a good starting spot and looking to have a good race here. So if you haven't already, you should go and watch my first uh, race in this car. Already we got some carnage. The first race in this car was also at Silverstone and uh, definitely the best road race I've been in at this point. This car is really a lot of fun to drive. Um, can be a bit frustrating at times, but uh, you know, it makes for good close racing and uh, just a lot of fun. Howdy, Bill. Still there. Through Joshua. One. Love. So already up to second right here. Still there. He passed on that thing. Looking good. All clear. Overdrive it a little bit right there, getting off track. Not too big of a deal. Gonna drop all the way down to fourth with that one though. Uh, that's one thing about this car is if you uh, break your momentum too much or or just one little slip is all it takes for you to lose quite a bit of time just because this car doesn't have the power that uh, some some of the higher cars have so just kind of tougher to recover when you make a little mistake like that but at the same time it's a really great way to learn Still there. so going back uh, for a little Still recap of how this iRacing season has been for me in case you haven't watched all of these. Uh, the beginning of this season um, started out in the rookie class. I'd never done uh, a road race, an official road race on iRacing. Started out in the Mazda MX-5. Uh, only took me like, I don't know, four or five races to move up. And from there I went on and I did a couple races in the BMW M8 GTE. Found success really quick in that. Uh, winning just my second race at, uh, I can't remember what track it was. It's on my uh, channel here. I'll link to the playlist down below. So you can kind of follow along with how this season has been for me. Still there. Uh, but did a couple races in that, and then from there, there I went on to the Formula Renault 2.0, and seven, that zero, car three, was a four. big Clear. challenge for me. Just not very good at the high downforce open wheel stuff, I don't feel like. One on the right side. And Still I did there. a lot at Suzuka, and... Uh, Inner Lagos. Still there. Still there, your door. And I had speed with it, but I was not very consistent with it. So uh, still, still learned a ton driving that and was able to uh, put together some good races with it. In and out. As we go In three out. wide right One here, that's for third position. Still there. And so now I'm doing the Skip Barber, and just another big learning experience. This car, I feel like of all three cars in the Class D license that I've raced, this one is definitely the most important momentum-wise. Uh, so you just really have to stay perfect, or, or else it's going to cost you a lot. Still there. 
And as you can see right here, just really tight racing. Clear, 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 Pretty much a four-way, right four or five car battle for uh, the, right the third spot right here, which is clear, almost clear. unheard of in other series. Um, so the interesting thing about this car is the draft really has a big effect, huge effect. Um, so there. maybe you can be faster than Clear. the guys you're racing with in the corners, but if you don't get a big enough gap on them, there's not really anything you can do to keep them from just uh, drafting their way right back up to you. So just keeps things really close, tight, competitive, um, which makes it fun, but at the same time, if you are faster than a guy and you know you're faster than him, Sometimes there's just not anything you can do, and that is a little bit frustrating sometimes as a driver. Uh, so it still takes a lot of patience just to to uh, put together a whole race with this car, I feel like. See, I feel like all of these cars that I'm racing with, um, just if we were just hot lapping, I feel like all of these cars I'd probably be faster than, but I can't really do much when, you know, I just get a little bit ahead of them and then they draft right back up to me, so. Just a little bit frustrating sometimes. So coming into this race, I was right around a 3.5 3.5 to 3.55 uh, safety rating, and I'm right near about 1600 I rating. And I'm really happy with the progress I've been able to make this season. So, um, this season, well, it's about promotion time right now. We're in the middle of week 13 right now. And, uh, I I don't know for sure when they do the promotions, but if I haven't gotten promoted already, I for sure will be promoted. And I'm taking this week off of uh, actually recording any of these, and then I'll be back with you guys for hopefully the first week of the Class C series. I don't know what series I'll be doing yet. Um, I don't even know, I haven't even taken a look at the options or anything yet, so... Um, it'll be a surprise for me and you guys when I finally figure out what I'm going to do and, and uh, upload my first video on it. That's uh, a week or two out still, so... But I'm looking forward to, you know, trying out different cars and... And I don't... I know a lot of people say that you should, uh, that you should kind of stick with one car throughout the entire season as you're learning, but I just don't really like that. Like, if I had stayed with the BMW M8, I feel like I only would have learned how to drive a GT car, like, and that's not what I really want to do right now. I want to, I want to, you know, show you guys how these cars kind of differ from one another and uh, you guys can kind of follow along with me trying to figure out how to race these the best I can and just try different things out. And I think, you know, just driving a single car all season, making videos of it is not going to be super exciting for you guys, so. Clear him, right side. Clear. Yeah, so I'll be, uh, you know, trying out different series throughout the next season in the Class C series. So you can see these guys swerving all over the, the backstretch here trying to break that draft and uh, it works a little bit sometimes but I don't know I usually don't 
mess okay. around with stuff like that too much. Clear. Maybe I should, or maybe then I'd be able to pull away from some guys, but I don't know. I just don't feel the need to do that too often. Obviously, I would do it, you know, if it was last lap for the win or something like that. Baby, you looking good. You got rhythm. A really good job, man. Doing a really good job. Hard smooth. Clear. Little tap right there. Put me off track. Too wide on the left side. Already up to four incidents, which isn't that great, really. If I was not in this big pack of cars, I feel like I wouldn't have that many incidents. Still there. But that's just kind of a product of this tight racing that this car produces, I feel like. One car only. Still there. One only. Still there. All clear, my man. On your right. There. One kind of tricky spot right here is if you are the car on the inside into this first turn, it's tough not to overdrive it. Like, you saw that guy do it right there, and then a lap or two ago, there was another guy that did it. It's just hard not to overdrive it when you're not getting that good arc into that turn that you need to. Clear. And I think. If I haven't already in this race, I know I do at some point. Just drive it in too deep on the bottom. Left side. Still there. Yeah, you're all pulling away from me. Still there to draft, so. <laughs> and as you can see, that yellow car up there, he started to pull away a little bit. Still there. Um, so he got out front, and then there was a car between me and him. And... So I go up there and start battling the car in front of me, and then he's able to kind of pull out on us. And three wide again right here, in the middle, right there in turn one. I just have to give there. I mean, that's a pretty aggressive move as far as I'm concerned, and I don't know. There's just no need to push it quite that much unless you're, you know, coming down to the last lap or two, I feel like. It's a good spot to overtake right there. Um, if you can stay to the outside of him, out, or the outside of the other car on that left-hand turn, and then you've got the preferred line going into the right-hand turn. Still there. Still there, quarter, one, minute, six, point eight, three, eight. Still there. Still there. Clear, clear, clear. Left side, two wide, right side, one only. Still there. So a little bit of news uh, on the channel. As I said, I'll be taking a, a week off from these uh, iRacing Road to A-Class series. Uh, just because it's week 13, there's no official races going on, so I'll be taking a week off of these, and then um, other than that, I'll be continuing the uh, Tony Stewart Sprint Car playthrough. Be continuing that, and also uh, this last weekend we took the trip to... Greenville, Texas for the now 600 series opener, uh, two day show, and I've got quite a few 
in-car videos from that, so I'll be able to share those with you guys. And I'll be, uh, I'll be putting out a commentary version where I kind of go over what, what's been, what is going on in the race, giving you guys my thoughts, and I'll also uh, put out just an uncut version for you guys to watch if that's what you prefer. And I'll be uploading those, um, should be Tuesdays and Fridays. Still there. Those ones will be out. Uh, if you don't know already, my schedule for this has typically been uh, Road to A class on Mondays and Thursdays. And then um, if I have some in-car video to post or like some uh, racetrack, you know, footage, I'll post that on Tuesdays and Fridays. And other than that, uh, just whatever video game playthrough or, or videos I'm trying to put out uh, will be on uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Uh, and occasionally you might see a video on, on Sunday, but those will probably be kind of few and far between. Just kind of when I have a, a certain video that I think would be interesting that uh, I'm thinking about posting. Not necessarily part of a certain series or anything. So like for instance, one that I've thought about posting for a little while now is um, taking that Ford GT40 that I did a, a race with in a set of Corsa a while back. Uh, I actually downloaded a sound mod for it. One that five, sounds three, pretty, nine, pretty neat. Um, you know, you don't realize just how how much better the sounds could be until they actually are. So I was thinking I might do a video on that. And I'm not for sure like when that would be out, but that's just something that might be coming sometime in the future. So might keep an eye out for that. Also, my schedule for this season uh, is just super busy. Um, way sideways right there. Uh, three wide and, and throwing it sideways. So that's kind of a crazy one. I don't even know what spot I'm in at this point. It's got to be fifth or so. Uh, just... Got the marbles. You know, kind of frustrating. This is what I'm talking about. If I could get away from these guys enough that they weren't able to get a draft on me, I feel like I'd be way faster than these guys. So that's just the kind of frustrating part of this car. But as I was saying, uh, right there, just uh, run into from behind. Absolutely nothing I can do about that. And just lost a ton of spots. Just nothing I could do right there. That guy just got in too hot and got into the back of me, so. Um, I don't know. Kind of ruins my race, but it was, still it's still been a good clear, race, clear. you know, like. There hasn't been a single lap that I haven't been fighting someone for position, so. As far as I'm concerned, that's still a good race. And although that guy kind of spun me out, it didn't wreck me. So as long as I'm able to carry on with this race, I think we're in good shape. So yeah, my schedule this year is going to be pretty hectic. Um, I'm going to have... I don't know for sure if I'll be able to make it to all of them, but I have... About 70 races on my schedule, which is pretty crazy. That's quite a bit more than I've ever done in a single season before. So we'll see if we're able to make it to all of those. Um, but I have, uh, I feel pretty optimistic that we'll be able to make it to at least most of them. Um, and I was thinking about maybe changing the direction that I go with 
uh, my racetrack videos instead of just having like an onboard video. Kind of like to get some sort of uh, camera to vlog with and be able to include you guys a little bit more in um, in updates between races and letting you guys know what I think is going on with the track and uh, what kind of changes we're going to be making and just little stuff like that that I think uh, it'd be good for you guys to kind of be involved in that and just uh, kind of know what's going on with it. So I've thought about doing that. Uh, I'd have to buy a camera for it though, so that's kind of why I haven't done any of that yet, because this, what I'm actually looking at is this new GoPro, the GoPro QR8 Black, and uh, well, it's $400, so it's not cheap by any means, um, but that's kind of what I'd like to get to be able to do that, so hopefully sometime in the near future I can finally swing that, but for right now you'll have to deal with just the regular um, in-car footage with my uh, commentary over it. So white flag right here. We're dropped all the way back to like 12th or 14th or something like that. That guy just uh fed that guy a rear tire so pick off two more right there but um, it's kind of too late for a good finish you know dude I was right next to you are you blind you can't get a place so, by running into me like as you can see right here I'm faster than these guys in front of me but it's just it seems to be popular in this room. Even if I were to get by them, they just run me back down with the draft. So, but uh, that's gonna conclude season one of my I Racing Road to A class. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying, you know, getting to drive all these different cars and uh, and figure them out. So I hope you guys are enjoying that content. Um, Anyway, I gotta say a thank you to Nathan Benson Motorsports, DDI Fabrication, and Surebuilt Suspensions for everything they do to help us out with the micro sprint. Um, if you guys have any feedback for me, be sure to leave it down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one.